Daniel, they are just standing toe to toe and brutalizing each other with Matisse getting. You know, he, he brings pressure. That's the only thing he does bring. He brings a lot of pressure and throws a lot of punches. Welcome back to Boxing Insane. your mind is yelling at your body to quit, you need someone there to get your mind straight. You know, I can't tell you how it's going to be, but things have to change. That's how your teammate in the corner of every boxer brings a victory to the brave warrior. So today, let's look at some of the top memorable corner moments in boxing history. But before we jump into the video, we want to ask you to like, subscribe, and tap that bell icon. That way you don't miss out on any updates from Boxing Insane. Lucas Matiz and John Molina Jr. Mathies withstood brutal knockdowns from Molina before, and then he came back to drop Molina in the 8th, 10th, and 11th rounds. Lucas Mathies was the only opponent who made Molina swallow blood. In the corner, the doctor checked and said Molina had a big head wound that needed to be treated, but all the doctor got in return was the words, shut up. Double jab, there's a jab, a right hand, lots of that jab, that's quick action here between them that's getting thus far, as the jab. Jab, right, jab, right, Batista. Getting it on here. I'm loving it. Not exactly in a but you say the black with light. Well, we the nerve damage Molina suffered in his left eye, but if that's not bad enough, he had 17 staples to the left side of his head to close up a nasty gash he got in a vicious slugfest that he lost by 11th round knockout. Pressure on Molina as we go to round six. Uppercut followed by the left hand by Matisse getting on the inside, but being a 10 8 round with the knockouts for Molina. Gervonta Davis and Mario Barrios. Mario Barrios was more than a game-fighting champion. Tank just had too many explosives for him. Gervonta Davis seemed to have a hard time facing the Tank. However, encouragement from teammates in the corner created a tremendous momentum, causing him to break through in the final moments of the match. 
Davis produced a fight-altering knockdown before closing out the show with a scintillating 11th round TKO of Barrios to become the new WBA regular super lightweight champion of the world at State Farm Arena in Atlanta, Georgia. Floyd Mayweather and Andre Berto. And the fight against Andre Berto was really his last. Floyd Mayweather is ending a boxing career of 49 wins and no losses. In the video, you can see just how confident Mayweather was throughout the fight. The clip was taken moments before the final round of his career, showing Mayweather and his father, Floyd Mayweather Sr., interacting in the corner. Mayweather thanks his father, and Mayweather Sr. tells him that the fight is already his. Not long after, Mayweather sank to his knees in the middle of the ring, celebrating the 49th win of his career. Everything working, baby. Everything working. Good. I got you. Okay. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury 2. What he did in the first place. Big right. All right. This is his third rematch. Big right hand. Entertaining ring box. The right hand. What? Wilder spent a terrifying night with Tyson Fury in their rematch. Fury begins the round with a left hand to put Wilder back in the corner. Wilder's in trouble. Fury opens up a barrage of shots and it's over. White tiles are also launched from Wilder's corner. The referee waves off the fight, giving Fury victory. Perhaps this got Wilder lashed out a lot in his corner. In and Fury eats it well, but back comes Fury. Wilder's legs are not underneath him. What? Wilder is exhausted. Fury down. Dylan White and Marius Wok. White had a thrilling match with Wok at Diria Arena, Saudi Arabia. However, his strange expression in the corner is what's of interest. Perhaps due to the harshness of the game, White uses his irritable eyes to look at his teammates. Fortunately, White still wins by unanimous decision in the end. Andre Ward and Sergey Kovalov. Ward had a tough first round, but survived a second round knockdown. In the corner, his teammates give great motivation, words of encouragement, urging him to return and defeat Sergey Kovalev. Don't worry about a knockdown, don't even entertain it. 
You understand? And he did it by a tight, unanimous decision Saturday at T-Mobile Arena. Ward took Kovalev's three sanctioning body light heavyweight titles with the victory. Shane Mosley and Antonio Margarito. At the bat, as if Mosley can reach Margarito with jabs. Shane Mosley had an explosive game, but behind the success was also teammates who also encouraged him from the corner. Mosley is landing more power punches, and Margarito's down and almost out. He barely gets to his feet, and legs are weak, but he made it back to the corner. He continued the beating in the ninth as Margarita was pinned against the ropes. As Mosley poured on the punches, the ref jumps in and stops the fight. Michael Moore and Vaughn Bean. A trainer for IBF heavyweight champion Michael Moore, Atlas is practiced to having to be creative when it comes to motivating his sluggish fighter. And having exhausted more traditional methods of inspiration, the phone at ringside at the Las Vegas Hilton as Moore casually toys with the overmatched Vaughn Bean. Between rounds eight and nine, Atlas went to his bag of tricks, out came the cell phone, and as would be revealed later, on the line from Florida came Moore's crying son. Moore trudged back out and did little more than he had before the contrived phone call and won by majority decision. So that's our compilation of top memorable corner moments in boxing. Did we miss any awesome knockouts that ought to be on the list? What do you want to know more about? Leave your comment below and let us know. Don't forget, like, subscribe, tap that icon bell. You don't want to miss any videos from Boxing Insane. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time.